Mac Voices at NAB 2024. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for NAB. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, as always, Larry O'Connor of OWC. Larry, it's great to see you. Yeah, likewise, Chuck. Glad to see you here. Glad to be here. Yeah, I, I am. I'm glad you're here. I'm delighted. We got to talk at uh, CES, but I understand just from the press releases that you have some new stuff again. You know, we never stop bringing out, you know, the gear that honestly we believe everybody needs. And we believe that because everybody tells us what they need. And that's really who we respond to and, you know, what brings these products to life. So at NAB, you know, we've got our new Electron 4 terabyte capacity. So we're doubling the previous capacity. We bring, we were showing off our Thunder, our Thunderblade X8, which previously announced and previously shown. But I mean, here in, you know, full force. I mean, that's honestly one of my most excited, one of the products I'm most excited for. And then actually uh, a brand new entry for us is our CF Express A cards, 40 gigabyte and 960 gigabyte. They have to be the fastest on the planet. BPG, BPG 200 certified and a ton of R&D went into these products over many months. You know, and even ahead of the hardware, I mean, I should say after the hardware engineering to see that these products, these, these type A cards run cool, don't have, give you any throttling issues and give you that max performance for any shooting requirement as well as any ingest requirements. So these are there and they're running cool when you're shooting at the maximum frame rates of, that these cameras today shoot at. And on top of that, when you go to ingest, you get the maximum ingest speed from end to end on these cards. So you don't have to skip a beat, get your data turned over, getting it into edit, getting it wherever it needs to go so you can get those cards back into uh, back into camera use. I, I want to go oh, back. I'm sorry, and there's one more. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought there was something else. There, we got so many, we got so much great stuff going on. The, uh, the Envoy, our new Envoy 1 and 2 terabyte have also been launched. These are ultra compact. And we have the Envoy, geez, there's too many Envoys. I mean, what can I, what can I say? There's never enough because these all meet different needs. And the Electron is IP67 certified. So this is something that's waterproof, it's extremely rugged, dustproof. Then we have our Envoy Pro Mini, which previously was up to one terabyte, now goes up to two terabytes. So higher capacity. This is a thumb sized drive that has both a USB uh, Type C and an A connector integrated into it. But it's thumb size, although it's a true SSD and really the most compact format of any drive available in the market and sustaining data rates of about a thousand megabytes a second. So extremely fast, extremely portable, and it's a real SSD, not a, a thumb drive that, well, you can't use for the kinds of things that this SSD is there to perform, including uh, being certified for Aja, which is something that's kind of a nice plus. And then we have our Envoy, which is now an ultra compact very high, uh, very high speed, but very economical drive. This starts at 149 now for one terabyte, and that's you know recognizing that flash cost has gone up quite a bit this year, you know versus last year. So the price point is actually you know it, it's it is the lowest cost we have for a one terabyte drive today, but also still sustaining one terabyte. I'm sorry, one gigabyte per second, and the uh, how to say the performance reliability that all of our drives have always employed. So. If you need something for a low-cost drive for shuttle that just needs to be small, we have the Envoy. Looking for that drive that you can put on a, on a you know, around your neck on a uh, dongle or whatnot, that'll work with USB-C and USB-A, we have the Envoy Pro Mini. And then if you need something that's got to be rugged for the elements, we have the Envoy Pro Electron, which now goes up to 4 terabyte. I love the fact that you spread out among all the categories and all the needs so that it's you're not trying to just do it all in one necessarily. That you know, there's certain like the the, uh, the the waterproof rating. Now, most of us probably don't need that, but there are people that absolutely do. So you have the solution for it, but you're not compromising any of the other products or that product to meet all the needs. Absolutely, positively, it's you know, there's diff different applications, different requirements, and the performance though is there for all all three of them. Talk a little bit more about the Thunderblade. I'm I'm always intrigued by those. I know those are pretty high end. But call it an aspirational question. <laughs> sure. I mean, if you're whether you're using doing editing on the road or you need to have data ingested and then duplicate it very quickly so you can ship it off, you know, the daily, so to speak. You know, the Thunderblade is is the highest performance external device you know, on the planet today. It sustains data rates of twenty well, between depending on how you set it up, anywhere from two thousand to about three thousand to about twenty almost twenty nine hundred megabytes a second. And that's the same. This is not something that peaks and then falls. This gives you end-to-end -end right sustained performance. It's great for editing. It's great for ingest. There's nothing faster out there that you can go from two drive, take a you know, duplicate a drive to another drive for making those backups that have to happen before data goes out. But what we hear most about the Thunderblade, and this is 
and from production staff and folks that are really under uh, how to say the rest for time it literally is something that, that gives them the time to get dinner you know sleep because their work can be done in a very reasonable amount of time so that they can get they can well go home for operating purposes as opposed to having to pull on all nighter and that's a savings i mean that saves in hours and even for quality of life i mean you got folks some people are like well that's that's overtime hours Overtime is great until, you know, the next day you can barely, you know, keep your eyes open. And, well, one guy said, you know, was, I could barely, you know, I almost fell down a flight of stairs because I didn't get any sleep. And now, and I don't even, that's, I mean, that's a crazy thing to even put out there, but it's, it's real. And now it's like, I enjoy what I do because this lets me get it done fast. And I get to have a normal evening because my work can be done. And it's so much less stress on our entire production crew as well. So, well, I, I'm, I'm running on a lot lower category but I know that as, as the computers have gotten faster, as the storage got, has gotten faster, I can do more or I can do it or I can save more time, one of the two. So, you know, it, it opens up opportunities and possibilities that we just didn't have before. And you guys are supporting all of that with all the storage options, the capture options. You know, you just you're taking it right from capturing in the field through ingest right through production. It's all ca literally capture to completion, and you know, adding Type A to it. You know, we have the fastest Type B cards in the, in the space. The Type A cards are a wonderful addition for folks using the Sony ecosystem, and all our Type A and Type B cards, all of our SD cards as well, and also the Electron are supported by Energize, which lets you maintain high performance, know the health of the drive, and perform a sanitize, which returns 100% full original performance and also cleans the drive. So if you finish a project, and you're sharing the cards with others that are shooting, you don't have to worry about your data being accidentally shared you know, when you share that card. But it's a much better process than well, either deciding I'm going to put the card up on the shelf because I don't know how much life is left on it, or doing a low-level format, which takes hours. Sanitize within a few seconds, does a full technically clean of the card, data wipe of the card, and then you're ready, uh, ready to move it on. So this is all about saving people time. And making our products, you know, all of our solutions, quite frankly, that solution that sits in the background is in the supporting role so that you can be creative, you can get your job done without having to even think about this plug and play technology that is just there for you. And that's what we want to be. We know we're in a supporting role and we want to be the best, the best supporting, uh, how to say, actor, however you want to call it, well, possible. Larry, I always appreciate our time. Um, where can folks go to learn more about all the new stuff as well as all the existing stuff? Sure. OWC.com is an awesome destination to see everything and how to say in, uh, in bold, <laughs> excuse me, bold, bold color and bold statements. And of course, you can visit MaxSales.com as well. Good to see you as always. Thanks Likewise, so much. Chuck. Enjoy the show. You too. Thank you, sir. Folks, more from NAB in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode you will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.